easier. See. See, it's telling me to rotate it. Uh-huh. But you tell me how it's popping up when you're looking at it. Okay. Are we live? Yes. Hey, guys. Hey, we're trying to get some things figured out here. Make sure it's all working handy dandy for us. Let me see here. Let me find it. Okay. See, it's me. Yep, it's it's crooked still. Crooked. So we want to go yep. like that. Alright, a second. Let me wait till it adjusts it. We got two people watching us adjust our camera. Oh. Okay. Oh, there we go. Is that right? Yep, that's right. All right. All right. Going in here, Rob. Hey guys, how you doing today? Uh, we hope you guys are all having a good day. Leon's first one in the that popped up. That Leon, how you doing? Hey, I saw you sold that big uh, Jason Tatum. You did good. I was that was that was good. That was a good purchase by you. You you always know your uh, you know your prism and basketball and stuff. So that's mm -hmm. that was a good purchase. Uh, Andy Hottinger's here. Leon said, "Hey." Uh, hey if you guys got any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, we, uh, we're just trying to get everybody caught up for the week. Maybe do the new releases for our releases are uh, coming on Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, we got, we'll tell you how the show went last week. Was that yeah. this last week? Uh, no, it was the week before. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. we'll, we'll, we we kind of talked we'll about that. We'll just remind week. people how good the show, oh, the show last week was the Franklin County show. Yes. Yeah. So, That's and, true. uh. We it was uh we did, we we did a little bit of purchasing from some dealers there, mm -hmm. uh, to keep our shelves full. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah. So we're gonna talk about definitely gonna talk about baseball. Mm -hmm. I mean, last week we were pretty down, I guess, or disheartened by the idea that it didn't really look like baseball was gonna go, and yeah. it seems like yeah, it's official. Uh, I mean, they have it all laid out when they're reporting, you know, yep. the shortened spring training, how the yep. playoffs are going to go, all that stuff. Yep. So it really seems uh, very likely that baseball is going to go, yep. which may cause me to have to tweak my little investment advice from last week yep. um, with baseball going um, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So we definitely want to talk about that. We want to talk about some supplies, uh, some pricing on some supplies, because we did actually, you know, as promised, got some in. I had to have those shipped in. Yeah. Um, and uh, Chris Belzer's here, and uh, Vince is here. Hey, Vince. Hey, Vince. How you doing today, Chris? Um, and he shared it on his podcast. So, hey, cool. if you guys, if uh, if anybody's out there, um, uh, Vince uh, is a friend of the shop, a friend of ours, and he has it. It's that sports card show podcast, and it's he's I don't know. He's probably got 50, six, 60. 50, 60 of them. Yes, yeah, sixty. And uh, it's very interesting, very detailed in the sports cards and the hobby and stuff like that. And he's talked to some some other breakers. He's talked to some other guests. He's talked to Rob before. He's talked to and also some celebrities. So uh, might be something if 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 you're on a drive and you're in your car and you want to listen to a podcast, definitely check him out. Um, he, he'd appreciate the the likes or the views. So mm -hmm. Mike Hogan's here. Uh. What do, you, what do you want to start with? We can jump in with supplies. That's yeah. not a deep subject. Yeah, let's go with supply. It's deep. Uh, deep, yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah, so we got supplies in. As I told you, um, you know, it's not a full selection of supplies, but we pretty yeah. much show restocked, like, the basics, like, top loads. Um, had to go with BCW just to get them in, basically. Uh, BCW is fine. It's I do prefer Ultra Pro, um, but we had to go with some BCW. Um, it did give me an opportunity uh, getting those in to get in things that we don't usually carry, like bolt boxes and super bolts. Yeah. So hardly any shop around here has those in stock mm -hmm. just because there's no local place to pick them up. Yeah. So I just went ahead and grabbed those. Many of you had asked for those yep. before. So super bolts will hold graded cards, and then the regular volt will hold top loads and I believe just like, you know, normal regular magne magnetics. Regular magnetics. Too. Well, magnetics any size because yep. it's a deep box. I mean, it's like a. Yeah. You know, it probably holds 30 magnetics, but... Probably so. Yeah. So, um, and then, you know, honestly, I, I mentioned last week, I think I paid $119 shipping uh, on this order. So I had to raise some prices, 
Uh, some of it's very minimal. Uh, we're talking like top loads instead of two, they're 250 a pack. Yeah. Um, so uh, there were a couple things that just to get them in like nine pocket pages, they were already more expensive with this new distributor I had to go with, and then plus shipping. So you know I had to raise those quite a bit. But yeah. anyway, we got a good amount of supplies in, and uh, also um, as Bill mentioned, uh, I mean we've had a really good week so far, which we're only two days in. Yeah. Um, and we've cleared out a lot of 2019 football, mm -hmm. but I made a post and we made a, Bill help me for sure, uh, make a, a big purchase on, to restock some 2019 yeah. uh, football. So we added that to our shelves. There was probably a couple hundred boxes in stock already. So there's plenty in stock. Um, yeah. if you guys haven't been in for a while. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dorit Stevenson's joined us and Mike Aldrich said, Hey guys. Hey Mike. Hey Mike. Yeah, we, uh, the vault boxes, I will say this, the vault boxes and the, um, um, what do you call them? What's the other box? Super vault. Super vault. Yeah. Uh, we, even after this is over, we probably will try to continue carrying them because we've had a lot of interest in them. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, he only got a, um, um, a bundle of each, which is 25 mm -hmm. and, Pretty much what he doesn't sell by the probably at the end of the week, I'm probably going to purchase for my per personal use. Uh, so not trying to tell you to come in, but if, if you want them, you better get them while we have them. And then uh, we'll see about our next order, how much we can get in. So um, but definitely a hard to find item that you don't find normally in uh, Central Ohio at the stores. Yeah. Also, it's hard to find graded card boxes, even just the normal yes. shoe box. Yeah. And uh, I do have some of those too. Yeah. So... Um, it's something that we'll continue to carry, even though a local distributor uh, doesn't really carry yeah. those. So, um, uh, let me see. What else do you want to talk yeah. about? Um, I was going to give a shout out to someone. Um, well, you know, uh, the Southway American Legion show, uh, part of my motivation in doing that is to kind of, um, you know, give, give myself another outlet, but also a lot of us, you know, there are entrepreneurs just just trying to look for an outlet and trying to do something. And I have some big things I'm planning for this next one um, to try to get a few extra people through the door, um, looking at doing show cash and stuff like that. But I've had people that have done that show from the very beginning. And um, one of them is Mark. And Mark actually uh, has some stuff in Zanesville Mall. So if you are in the Zanesville area, um, go in there and check them out. I, I guess the store's got a lot of unique items, kind of like this place. It's not just wax. And actually, I don't believe Mark in, in there has a lot of, of boxes, maybe some retail. But um, he does the show faithfully every month. And um, if you're in that area, go in there, check them out, support them. So I, I just wanted to mention that. So in Zanesville Mall, there is basically a, a oh, card shop. I did not know that. Well, I'm going to have to run out there and do some buying. Yeah, I mean, that's couple hour drive for us almost yeah but. ah cards are worth it yeah we'll pro i'll probably take a vacation sometime and i'll just make it part of my trip so yeah uh let me see um well you want to get into baseball sure let's go for all it. right guys um as of right now looks like there's gonna be a 60 game season that is good and bad <laughs> for i mean it's good for baseball fans because they're going to get a watch product in my opinion, bad for investors because with being sh such a short season, you know, you have your players that come in and they're going to start with, you know, your regular players that have already made the team. Um, now your rookies, you know, your prospects may not get much of a chance this year, um, you know, because they're expanding the roster. So they'll definitely be on the rosters, but that doesn't mean they're going to get playing time. And playing time is what, what matters, you know, in the card market. So, I, you know, now some of your established rookies right now, like Pete Alonzo, um, Dante, or, uh, Dante Bouchette. Not Dante, it's Bo Bouchette. Um, those guys are going to, they're going to get a play because they made it the year before last, or last year. Mm -hmm. But I don't look for a big, huge rookie crop coming out this year, making it in the in the. Uh, major leagues uh unfortunately with, with the shortened season and so many people being on the roster mm -hmm. so what's your yeah. thought okay yeah so i'll kind of be devil's advocate on this baseball thing a little bit oh and, and that's we, ironic if you guys know rob for him to be the, the devil's, devil's advocate. advocate yeah so so i'm gonna be the devil's advocate a little bit 
Well, first of all, the idea of there being no season or a 60-game season, a 60-game season is better than none uh, for products and for the card market in general. Then I'm actually thinking, you know, football is really growing and taking over um, the other sports. Well, specifically baseball, it's really, you know, grown leaps and bounds in, compared, in comparison to baseball. Part of the reason that I think that is is because we can focus for this one game a week and like gather around, mm -hmm. carve your time out and watch this yep. one game. So the shortened season to me means that every time somebody does something, it's going to have like more of an effect. Mm -hmm. And although Bill might disagree, I'm okay at basic math. No, he might disagree because of it. No, here. I, I, I agree that his math is horrible. Yes, So, but basic math I, I can do. And um, so I'm sitting there thinking, well, if there's a 60 game season and let's say Vlad Guerrero Jr. hits 20 home runs this year then I could kind of do the math and be like, that's more like he hit 60, right, in a normal season. Yeah. So um, I, can, I can do that math and, and kind of say that's a great season. So I think if we do have a rookie, we see a rookie, and he hits 15, 20 home runs, then his stuff's going to take off a lot. I do agree that it would be hard for guys in this year's products, in 2020 products, for you to see them playing this year. Yeah. But then last year's guys um, – I could see them getting more emphasis uh, yeah. and, and kind of being more in the spotlight. And yeah. so 2019 products could continue to just. Yeah. I mean, off. do you put like this year? I mean, basically anybody in Bowman that just came out in the new Bowman, they're not going to play this year. Mm -hmm. uh, Jason Dominguez in specifically, because he's not even 18 years old yet. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's yeah. already just turned. So he, you know, he's not going to be in the major leagues. He's not going to minor leagues because there is no minor league season as of right now. Yeah. So with that being said, you know, all your prospect products are going to be – everybody's going to be buying them because they're still prospecting. Mm -hmm. But you're going to be held back two to three to four years now on your prospects. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what – and I like to prospect, so that's and, my thing. And last year – I mean, last week I mentioned that behind the scenes I saw this dip happening in baseball – uh, in being able to pick up the products, um, you know, cheaper uh, than just the week before, but that's because I think that it looked like there wasn't going to be a season. Mm -hmm. So that's reflected on our shelf prices. But again, next week, what's going to happen when this? Speaking of that kind of thing, speaking of, you know, products. Yeah, we just got a phone call. Yeah, so, hey, the funny thing yeah. is. We're sitting here talking live to you guys, and it's yep. like, we're like, hey, blah, 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 and a phone call pops up, yeah. and all we see is a phone number, all we see yeah. is a black screen. And I'm like, can they still see me? Yeah, What's no. going on? We're just going to keep on going. Oh, we'll just keep talking. Uh, but, oh, by the way, um, sure. my wife said hi, uh, my sister's watching, hey, my friend Jen's watching, uh, Tommy just got here. Thanks, Tommy, for joining, mm -hmm. and uh, Dawn just got in here. That's cool. That's cool. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, speaking of prospect products and stuff, I, I do think there will be some still good investment potential with baseball, mm -hmm. um, you know, this year. But, for instance, like one of the products I, I decided to throw out here was Topps Pro Debut Jumbo, yeah. which um, was a very highly allocated product. I believe it was three jumbos per case of regular hobby uh, of the Pro Debut. So if you're prospecting, um, you know, it, it is a good buy as far as uh, being limited. Yeah. And I, I got a good price on it and to be honest I'm 50 60 bucks cheaper than like the bigger uh I guess internet like internet big box sellers yeah big box uh dealers on that yeah. product so um that's that's an interesting product we just got in yeah. with with all the 2019 football yeah so but yeah I'm not saying I mean I guess I can look at it in like Pete Alonzo Pete Alonzo should have a huge year I mean I mean just any I mean just them getting on the field this year mm -hmm. is going to be like Dun dun dun! It's like ex everybody's gonna be excited that they just got on the field. So yeah, everybody's—they're uh, not even gonna have to do a whole lot of performing. They're just gonna have to, you know. And if a team wins forty games, that's like winning a hundred in a regular season, you know. So that's yeah. not a. Um, so I mean, and then you got like some pretty serious trade. I mean, you got Mookie Betts going to the Dodgers, and the what? Dodgers being predicted to, you know, Mookie went, you know, go to the World Series or you yeah. Know, or whatever, lead their division, whatever. Yeah. So, um, if that's the case, I mean, you, you'd see, you should see a jump in his cards if he yeah. performs at all in that on that big stage kind of yeah. level there. So, Mookie. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that was our thoughts on baseball. 
um, but we we will have we will keep one every product that comes out we should have one on the shelf uh, please keep it in mind and then Rob also will have it on his uh, game time sports collectible page mm -hmm. website uh, where shipping is always five dollars um, and I'll plug my I, I'm on eBay at Yahoo 23 I sell a lot of bobbleheads current cards right now I have a bunch of LeBron uh, rookie cards or um, current cards or uh, you know please check us out um, we appreciate any of your visits or uh, things uh, Thomas Hubbard just joined us hey Thomas hey, um, so also talking about baseball um, I guess yeah it's worth mis mentioning top series two is Friday yeah um, you know a lot of anticipation with that and then with them confirming the season is a go um, I expect that to be a really good product. Uh, we'll have plenty of it in stock. Yeah, Top Series 2 is going to have a bunch of, like, all the updates and trades and all the season highlight. What? <laughs> yeah. It should be, yeah. It's just going to be pictures of people sitting at home. I guess It'll be like, so. hey, here's Pete Alonzo in his recliner. Social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's going to be. They'll all be six, foot of, six yeah. feet across with masks on. That'll be the variance. It It'll will. Be like, be like, you get your Pete Alonzo. short prints will be like, yeah. Doo -doo. Look at me, I'm yeah. I'm the discon. That could be. All right, that's uh, but Any but the product's still gonna sell. So yeah. So what what are you know the people uh, paying attention? You know, what do they think about the short baseball any, season? What 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 are your guys' thoughts on the short and baseball season? If you got any comments, please. Or do you guys think this could still fall through? I mean, everybody's yeah. reporting it. Everybody, you know, it's set dates and everything. Yeah. So. so. But I don't know. There's a lot of propaganda out there, just the media in general, and it includes baseball and all the sports because one person says that one thing's going to go, and then they don't really have official word yet. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, it does seem that Major League Baseball and the the players, everybody thinks that Major League Baseball is just like, hey, it's MLB, but it's not. It's uh, Major League Baseball consists of your uh, you have your players' committees, you have your uh, owners' committees. And then you have your um, lawyers in between that make sure that everything's fair and stuff. So it's not like, you know, I'm sure all the baseball players want to play a season if they think that it's going to be healthy and they're not going to have to worry about the uh, problems with the COVID, um, the, the pandemic, stuff like that. The, the owners want them to play because they're paying them, you know. So, you know, there's a happy medium there. So just trying to figure out what the, um, what the best solution is. Uh, Don said 60 games are better than none. Yeah. Yeah, that would that'd be what I'd say. I guess. Too. Now, will the, have they said anything about the playoffs? Will they be abbreviated? or Because uh, they talked about extending the playoffs. Or, yeah. or some of the other leagues have talked about adding different, uh, adding more people to the, or more games to the, so they can add more teams into the playoffs. Maybe shorter, like a, like a three, like baseball does a, if it's a playoff, it's like a one game. Yeah. And then uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's true. Um, also, we were going to talk about uh, maybe I was going to mention trade night. Uh, we might uh, need to move that. Yeah. One of the larger shows, the show that just took yeah. place last uh, week, um, would be scheduled to go the same exact time as our uh, trade night. So um, we might Can I help you? postpone I that. Um, we might postpone that just one please, week please, and do it, um, you know, the very next week after that. Also, the next Southway American silver, Legion though. show it's not is um, yeah. I don't do anything with July them, 11th. And so uh, we're doing some things uh, to try to get that. Buddy. He'll be back in a few minutes. So. Uh, oh. Try to get that, you know, mm -hmm. organized. And like I said, we're going to promote that quite yep. a bit. Oh, yeah. So any other... Comments or anything? Let me see here. Um, oh, and the um, umpires union. I didn't even think about the umpires union. Yeah, you. Yeah, you have to have somebody uh, doing the umpires union. Uh, Bobby will be back in a couple minutes. So, um, yeah, the um, yeah, you definitely have that. Baseball is not a clean cut one person. You have to talk to all the uh, different uh, organizations. You all have to agree, and you all have to. Uh, to make it all uh, all hunky dory for everybody, so yeah. Bobby uh, chose a really good time. To yeah, Bobby always picks a good time to, to leave in the out. middle of our lives when when yeah. we get customers. And I, I don't know. Yeah. He's really good at that though. So, 
I don't know. He, he worked all night. He worked all night. He hasn't he been did. asleep. He shouldn't even be in here. So we're like, just if, if, you're, if, yeah. if you're not going to be, if, 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 if you need sleep, go home. And that's part of our reason. Oh, we have continued our hours where we are going to st stick to the 2 to 6, Tuesday through Thursday, Tuesday through Friday, Saturday 12 to 6, um, just because um, with, with our busy schedules and stuff like that. All right, I don't have such a busy schedule. I'm just a lazy butt. I admit it. But we are going to continue that schedule um, for the time being. Um, we may address it closer to uh, the uh, at least through summer and then maybe fall. We may adjust it. But um, so far, it seems to be working. And we have a bunch of people that are uh, that are okay with it. And, uh, yeah, we are trying to um, make sure... Oh. Oh yeah, you're cool. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, we're, it's fine. Yeah, we're just doing a live video on Facebook. So. Yeah, we don't close the doors or anything. Yeah, we, so. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, we have a lot of people that are. Uh, um, if you this need is to good. It actually proves we have customers. Yeah, we have customers. Yeah, we, 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 we actually don't just do this. Not but, all the time, yeah. but we do have occasion. Yeah. We so, love these guys. Yeah, yeah we appreciate <laughs> you for business. Yeah. Uh, but we do have a, um, we do have people that are still contacting us. For uh, curbside pickup and stuff like that, and then you know, like like we we have told you and we've told you all along that if 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 we need to make special um, special trips into the shop to meet you at a, a different time, we can as long as you let us know in advance and stuff like that. Just it has to be uh, we we just have to be available, and uh, we never know exactly our availability until the day before. So uh, if you want to keep us in mind or you're looking for something. Uh, let us know. Um, I was just going to mention also Friday's Legacy Football um, with Tops, too. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> yeah, Leon. Yeah, we're, we're just going to keep it going. So, hopefully, Bobby will show up. So. Uh, Oh, uh, what else do we have? Do we have anything else? Do we need no, to I mean, I really feel like I covered it all, but yeah. if there's anything anybody wants to... Yeah, if you guys got... Uh, I'll give you... i give you like five more minutes. Uh, three more minutes. Not not trying to rush you guys off, but we have, we have a couple other things. We, we actually got 12 people watching, which is good. So, yeah. We, we sh I wish we could come up with something really and really smart to say, but uh, it's probably not going to happen. No. No. Um, no, I'd have to try what? all day to come up with something yeah. really smart. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Mm -hmm. What is your uh, what comes in on Friday? It's Top Series Two, clearly authentic. Didn't didn't arrive for me today. Wait, this Top Top Series Two. Are you gonna have jumbos and ho ho hobby? Yes, actually, uh, my allocation on it's pretty good. Jumbos and hobby will both be in here. Do you know about um, what price they'll be? Yeah, I mean, I and we, I was talking to somebody earlier today. I don't really advertise the price that I put like new products at. Um, because I'm not in any way trying to do like a price war yeah. or anything with, yeah. with anybody else. We, it, but we want our regular customers and our regular viewers to know that, you know, that's what we're selling it for. Yeah. You know, now we do sometimes put a limit on it from time to time. So there's might be a limit one. Yeah. Because, yeah. uh, I mean, uh, some people would like to come in and clear the whole shelf. We, we just don't want to do that. You know, we, uh, his first round of products, uh, he kind of likes to share the wealth. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. uh, I mean, I'll be very reasonable yeah if um, uh yeah we, i guess we're not going to disclose the price oh no i mean but if I, you want to contact us uh please feel free um through facebook messenger or whatever and we will give you the let you know yeah, the price I, I, and if you want us to hold you a box or something we definitely can mm -hmm. so yeah i mean i have no pro uh, tops i get plenty of it i'll be 80 on hobby and 150 on jumbo limit two on each of those wow that's where I'm going to be at. That's and, that's uh, cheap compared to a couple well, of sites I probably have seen. Yes, yes, and Legacy Football will also be twenty or thirty percent cheaper than bigger oh, sites. Good. Yeah, so I'll try to get both of those on the website too, probably over the weekend. Yeah, but we'll have them in here late Friday afternoon. Yeah. Um, all right. I don't really see more questions. So, all right. Uh, if. Um, if you uh, if you want to check out Rob at GameTimeSportsCollect.com, and uh, if you want to check out uh, my eBay store Yahoo Twenty Three, uh, so please do. We have plenty of stuff to uh, uh, sell both places, and then we also have the shop. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking for anything particular, you know, please feel free to let us know. We we'll have a good assortment here: bobbleheads, coins, cards, memorabilia. 
Um, we got some jerseys. We got a little bit of everything. So, and we have a lot more than what we can actually show because this, what, at one of these videos, I'll have to show you guys our storeroom, which yeah. is which is stupid. It's, yeah. It, it's it like is. almost half the size of what the shop is that we can't put out. So yeah. uh, we may have it. If, you, you never know if we have it or not. So please feel free to ask. So, yeah. all right, guys. Yeah, well, thank you for watching. Yeah, and, thanks for watching. Uh, we share. Will, yeah, if you can share it. And, and uh, next Wednesday we'll do this again. Yeah. Hey, Bobby showed up, which is good. He's Hi he's guys. here now. <laughs> yep. So, uh, yeah. but all right, guys. Well, hey, thanks for tuning in, and we will talk to you next Wednesday at three thirty. Yep. Take care, guys. Got a good one.